this video we're going to look at how we can model multiplying a fraction by a fraction. So let's say we had to model one-half times one-third. We want to know what is one-half times one-third. Well, one of the things ways we can go about doing that is we could draw a rectangle. And what we're going to do here is we're going to, we're going to make one side one-half and the other side one-third. And so if one-half, then what I'm going to do to this length here is I'm going to split this into a half. That's what I've done. I split that into halves. And on this one, I'm going to split that. I'll just do a different color here to show. I'm going to split these into thirds because this is one-third. So one now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade the area that I want. So I want one half of this, one half of this, so that's going to be this here, and one third of this direction. So this little square here would represent a half of this distance, and this square here that I've shaded would represent a third of the vertical distance. And now what you can quickly see is there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 regions to my rectangle. And I have shaded one of them. So 1 half times 1 third, or 1 half by 1 third for this uh, rectangle, is 1 sixth. I have 1 sixth of the area of the rectangle shaded. And now what if it was one-half times two-thirds? Well, let's draw a rectangle. So I've got one-half times two-thirds. So on this side, I've got to divide things into thirds. I'm going to try to do a better job of making that look a little e more equal. So there, I've divided this side into thirds. And on this side... I'm going to divide these into halves. So I need to shade one half of this here. One half, I'm going to just pick the top. And then I need to have two thirds of the horizontal distance along here. So now I have two thirds here. I've done two thirds of the horizontal and one half of the vertical. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces here. I have two of them shaded, so two out of the six, but we always want to reduce our fractions. So two and six are both even numbers. I can divide them both by two. Two divided by two is one, and six divided by two is three. So one half times two thirds from our little diagram here would equal one third. I've shaded one third of this entire rectangle. How about three quarters times two thirds? Doesn't matter which side we we make what. One side's going to be three quarters, the other two thirds. And now what I can do is I can divide this length here into fourths. So one, two, three, four. And I can divide this length into thirds. One, two, three. And so what I need to do is I need to shade three out of these four. So three out of the four horizontally and two out of the three vertically. So now what I have here is two thirds. I've got two out of the three vertical rows shaded and three out of the four horizontal rows shaded. Now let's see how many squares I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are 12 squares in total here, and I have shaded 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 3 quarters times 2 thirds is 6 twelfths. But then we can reduce this. I can divide this by 2 because it's even, and this by 2, it's even. And now I can further divide these both by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So 3 quarters times 2 thirds is 1 half. And that's how we can show multiplying fractions using a model 
and determining what the area would be.